you said with love i've never seen that in any textbook that i have seen medicine no medical textbook talks has a chapter on love it doesn't even mention love you are being very unscientific show me love show me uh, how do you measure it can you see it on an mri scan if not that is not scientific when both as a medical student and as a doctor i came across suffering and uh, we had to walk away we had to turn the other way and walk away something didn't seem right and then when i did attend to people with pain or suffering and when it made a difference i found that it gave me some satisfaction it was in a in a curious kind of way it was very selfish mm-hmm. i was doing it because my life would be a little more worth living yes right. these are our chaplains for the hospice company I'm curious now what is your primary message or what is what is it that uh, Palium India is looking to accomplish ultimately that healthcare system should give healthcare healthcare systems anywhere in the world do not provide healthcare mm-hmm. we diagnose and treat diseases official definition of health is physical social and mental well-being which healthcare system does that mm-hmm. it is just that we do what is convenient and what is more profitable mm-hmm. we are dealing with human beings we are not dealing with machines right and the same strategy to cur- to repair machines cannot be employed there because here are people with emotions yes yes without dignity and love medicine is incomplete Mm-hmm. I when I see very sincere young medical students and doctors sometimes I feel they are ashamed to talk about these words like love very unscientific I want them to be able to show it mm-hmm. and live it with dignity in themselves yes. they, I want them to be proud of saying that love and dignity it is not even in any textbooks yet what is being taught and what is being touted and what is being relied upon is evidence based medicine and i'm wondering if you are challenging the concept of evidence based medicine that does not have anything to do with feelings or love it just has to do with experiments and results should we be rewriting the word evidence based medicine if people give a uh, choose medications with uh, just their instinct mm-hmm. they would be biased the prejudice will come in sure. evidence based medicine is valuable so long as we accept its limitations mm-hmm. that is not the only truth in the whole world there are many so long as we accept mm-hmm. that some things in this world cannot be measured that everything is not amenable to evidence based medicine we are okay as you demonstrate humanity in healthcare i'm sure that's going to be contagious i truly believe that that if we continue if the palliative care stream in the whole world and those uh, practitioners of nursing medicine pharmacies uh, so medical social work everybody healthcare providers 
as we embrace the principles of humanity in our healthcare more and more i am sure a change will happen i am sure a positive change will happen every year 55 million indians go below poverty line because of catastrophic health expenditure mm. and this is not only in india but these problems are for 84% of the world and unless that is brought to attention we cannot stand in isolation in india and solve it because there is a healthcare system globally which is promoting disease based treatment it's a culture it's i think it's more of a culture and which is what we're trying to create right uh, we, when we talked earlier we talked about us working on a uh, new health care delivery system that is what parentis health is totally focused on that it encompasses all of the, the the whole person and it encompasses a true the true meaning of the word holistic approach so what do you say to the people that would look at your work and my work they say what are you doing you can't save the whole world what do you say to somebody like that i'm sure you've had maybe somebody ever mentioned that to you before i don't know but it happened to me a number of times you can't save the world first we have to accept that we are a bit crazy okay <laughs> we See, are i always say to everybody i am crazy listen listen <laughs> if this is the midline anything going out of that is crazy <laughs> we you certainly are not walking the mid path exactly yes <laughs> but maybe you will shift that line so when somebody says you can't change the whole world he does go in not see listen if i bring one smile to a face which was in sorrow last minute i have made the world a better place yes and when it is not just one smile but a million smiles the world is a better place yes mm-hmm.